how's it going? My name is Gavin. Welcome to GPTV. In today's video, I'm going to be installing these um, reg plates or number plates or whatever way you want to say from the country that you're in. But in most countries, you can't get these. You can only get these in Ireland or maybe the UK and Northern Ireland. But anyway, these come from a website called Standout Plates. As you can see, they're slightly raised. But a um, good friend of mine makes these. These are not just super glued on, these are actually bonded on so the plastic is not its not going to fall off. And I know there are other ones out there as well, they're like a gel. And the gel, they basically melt in the sun and they, they sort of curl off, they, they just fall off eventually. But these ones are actually bonded onto the plastic, they're very good, very good um, make there. There's also uh, many different styles and um, you know shapes and sizes, you can get jack plates or whatever. But I just went for the, the standard OEM ones because um, I just like the OEM style. But you can choose whatever one you want on the website. There's, there's plenty to choose from anyway. As the website says, standout plates. There's a couple of reasons because they do stand out. And also, they stand out. I noticed them. Like I'm a car fan. And when I see cars, you know, driving around and I see these plates on them. I notice it straight away because I just go, oh look, there's Andrew's plates. I notice it straight away. You can get them with um, just double-sided sticky tape. Now this stuff doesn't come off. It's meant to be very good, provided you clean the area first properly. But yeah, it's a, it's a very good double-sided sticky tape that he uses as well. Or you can get screws. You can order it with either, with either screws or double-sided sticky tape. All right, so listen, the weather is not great today anyway. It keeps raining and stopping and raining and stopping and the wind, I think there was a yellow wind warning or something today. But I have to do something. I can't just not put a video up because of the weather. Like That's the problem with having a car channel and no garage is that weather. Yeah. I have loads of other jobs to do that I need to do to the cars, but this is one of the more simple jobs that I have to just get sorted now because I hate me reg plates. They look ugly and you'll see them now in a minute. But before I go any further, can I ask you a, a huge favor? Please subscribe to my channel. Please like the video. And if like it helps out with the algorithm if you can just like the video even. Um, and even like if you want to leave a comment or ask me something about the plates or something, whatever you want to do. Um, yeah, just please leave us a like or a comment or something. But definitely please subscribe, please. And turn on the little bell notification thingy up as well. Please like the comment, like the share and like the video and like the stuff. So if you're looking for a set of these plates yourself, just uh, hit up this link here, standoutplates.ie. Yeah, .ie. And then um, just, you know, buy them. Because they're cool. As you can hear it's very windy out here but these this is the state of the bridge plate that i have now look at this yeah, look at that. But, um, this one also comes with this sort of backing plate here and i i want to remove this but i don't know because there's there's this sort of um there's a point here and it, it sort of goes goes this way if you get me 
So there's a kind of a point. I don't really want to bend the new plate. So I might leave this on. I don't know what to do yet. I might just leave this on for now. We'll see. We'll see when I take it off. camera just fell over in the wind. Okay, I had to move the camera and the car because the camera kept blown over with the wind. So there's a wall here. Maybe that'll stop it from blowing over. So all I'm doing here with this, what I've done over here was, I'm just getting the standing blade. And I'm, if you look there, there's a raised edge. Focus. Focus, here we go. There's a raised edge, so I'm just cutting that raised edge off so that the plate has a flat surface to stick to. This is hard to do with one hand. Yeah, well anyway, you get you get what I'm trying to do. wind keeps blowing the camera down. Okay, I basically have this one on now anyway. Okay, so before, after. See the difference? Of course you can see the difference. This is all gone yellow. You know, it's all yellowy sort of. This the plastic has peeled off the front of it. And then it has this stupid thing down the bottom. I don't care about that person, whoever, whoever's garage that is. These look so good. So anyway, um, I've a pain in me with this wind, so I'm gonna just do the back one on my own, and uh, you'll see it in a minute. Right, so I just wanna show you this here while I can. Um, these are where the original screw holes were. Um, what I've done was I just knocked these down with a, a hammer a bit, so that they're more flush, so that the plate won't scrape off the piece that's sticking up. Same on this side, I've done that. These are the original screw holes that were in the car when, you know, whatever, it came with a Japanese plate or something, I don't know. And it's not a Japanese car, I don't know. Anyway, I just smoothed them over. And then um, I got my center pipe point for where the reg is going to sit between the lights and underneath the, the, the H sign. Um, I just marked it off with some masking tape and now I'm going to stick the new plate on. Job done. How does that look? Mm. So nice. So, so nice. Okay, as you can see, I just finished up and it started to rain. So, anyway, I wanted to show you these as well. I got, I tinted these black. They were, they're normally red, but I tinted them black because they just, you know, makes the back of the car look a little bit better. Um, reg plate is all sorted. I also forgot to show you these as well. <coughs> I took them out. So they're all super bright. Yeah, the car is starting to come together now. It's starting to look a little bit nicer. It needs cleaned up and a wax. If you're looking to get some of these plates yourself, there's a link in the description to his website. It's um, Stand Out Plates. And his name is Andrew, and he's a lovely fella. And he's really nice and handsome. Uh, do us a favor, comment if you like it. Um, like the video if you like it. And subscribe to the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel. Whatever, you know what I mean. Just please, thanks. <laughs>